I just wanted to share my experience of using the puck so far. Um, so the first thing is we can get the puck up by using hotkey Z. So you can see it appears and it disappears as soon as I let go of the Z. If I press B, it should stay and hold. My problem is that I had already assigned B to variant lister. So I want to get rid of that and I want to change that. So if you have the same sort of problem, go into the preferences hotkeys here and you'll find under special uh, custom puck functions, we've got that option there. So toggle open. So if I make that B and it says it's already assigned to something else, so I'm just going to say, yes, please. I want to remove that. So now, now when I press B, it stays there. If I press B again, it disappears. So you can either have that option, which I find is, is quite good actually, or you can have it on the fly. So as you move around, wherever you press the Z key, you'll get that. Now, if you want to edit this, because um, obviously those functions are just set up here. Um, first of all, we've got three little buttons here. So they've set it up as detail. Don't really understand why revolve is in there or rail, but that's what they've called it. Um, you can call these whatever you like. The other thing is you've got an outer ring. So again, they've got this outer ring here. Um, you've got two of them here. So you can switch between the two. So you've got two sets of options there. Um, you've also got this in the middle tumble pan and zoom. So if I hold the left mouse button down there, it'll tumble. And if I hold the middle mouse button, it'll pan and the right hand one zoom. I haven't got used to using that, I must admit, because I'm so used to doing it by the more conventional methods. Um, but I've certainly had some um, good experience of using this menu now. It, that seems to be very useful. I think I'm sure this will be very useful for maybe for newer users, but um, there's no reason you can't use this with hotkeys and shelves and marking menus and everything else. So let's get rid of this. So we, we want to edit this. So if we go into preferences, custom puck editor, this is where you can see what we've got here. So let's just compare that. So I'll bring the press B and we just get everything there. So you can see on curves, if I click on the tab curves, this is what we've got. They go clockwise from the top. So CV curve, CV one, etc., all the way around there. That's that lot. Um, if I press on the middle one, sub D, if I press on this one, detail. Now you notice that if I get beyond eight of these on the center one, it starts to put them down here, which is absolutely fine. Still convenient, but we can change those. So first of all, we can get rid of one. So let's get rid of detail. So if I drag any of these buttons or icons up, it opens up these, these options. So I can say delete. So I'm going to get rid of detail. That's gone. So we've now just got the two. You can do this however you want, of course. The other thing is we've got these outer picks. So I said we've got two of these, one slash two and two slash two, and that's defined here. So the only thing that matters is the fact that it says outer. So if I wanted another one, um, I can create a new one. So let's go into here. We can say um, new tab, and I'm gonna call this outer. So as long as I call it outer and I call it misc, for example, I can create that. Now you'll notice that it doesn't appear in this ring at the minute because we haven't got anything in there. So let me just open up my um, shelf, my previous shelf there. And I'll just drag some random stuff into here. So I'm going to use control because I don't want to lose them from here and middle mouse. Now you've got to be careful because when I drag them up, you can see it comes up with that menu. I don't really want that in, in, that, in the way there. So let's move that over there a bit. That didn't help, did it? I just need to move a bit further away. So I'm not going to accidentally put something in there. So I'm just putting some random stuff in there. Um, you can see it's now created that third ring. So you can have as many rings as you like um, around here. The other thing I've noticed is that we can actually um, have many more um, icons around here. 
there seems to be no limit. I haven't really tested the limits, but you can go on and on and on adding more um, until they become unreadable. So it's up to you, you know, how many you put in there, of course. Um, and obviously, if I want to change a name, we've got a way of doing that. So if I want to change sub div to something else, I can say rename sub D or whatever you want to call it. So when I click on there, it now says sub D. You can get rid of functions. Um, obviously, if I drag that up, I can say delete, um, but I can also edit things. So let's go into curves and go and pick I've got CV1 here, let's go and edit that, and make that something different. So I'm going into edit, um, I'll give it another name, let's call it C CV5 and okay it. And if I double pick it, then we can change that to CV5 in here and say go. So now that's, when I go onto there, it's gonna be CV5. And um, so you keep on adding things to this. What I have found well, the way I've got this set up now, so this is this is just going from the um, the default, if you like. Um, what I have found now is I've got a set up with multiple um, tabs in the in the center there. We can add more of these. So if, uh, I've I deleted one of these, but we can add more of these. So if I say um, new tab, and I'll call this. Uh, I'll just call it tab two because I can't be bothered to think of any names. And you don't have to drag it here. It just makes sense to drag it across here. So it's in the right place. And then I'll create another new tab. You see, they don't appear in the center and that's because there's nothing on them. So I don't know why I started at two, but I did. So I'm gonna have tab three. And for good measure, we'll just do a tab four. And I'll just drag that in across here and so nothing happens if i go into tab two and add something so i'm going to keep the control button down so i don't lose it i just put one thing on each of these doesn't matter tab four you notice that every time i do that it appears in here so we've got tab four with just one function on it tab three tab two and then the other ones as well on the inner ring, we've only got eight, but on the outer ring, like I say, we've got multiple ones. You don't have to have an outer ring at all if you don't want that one. Um, you can just, um, on the outer, we could just get rid of this one um, if we wanted to. We can get rid of all of them, to be honest. So you can just have the one. So let me just delete that one, proceed, delete this one, proceed. And so we're just left with the one ring now, which is what I've, currently got or you can get rid of all of them if you like now now the outer ring's gone entirely up to you how you do this um, the process that I've gone through is to take my default shelf here and just try and select the, the functions that I mainly need because I find in time that your opinion about what's essential and what isn't essential changes of course um, so let me just show you I'll first of all if I go into user preferences and I can say save as a new profile. So I'll just call this um, temp because I don't actually want this. This is just rubbish. Just get rid of that. So if I go into the user profile and I've got this one called imaginatively the date backwards. Um, I don't want to save temp, I've just saved it. So now if I press B, we get this. So this is my, my selection here. So I can open that out of ring you notice I've just got the one ring I've just chosen to do that and on the inner one I've now got curves surf surface edit and mesh and I'm sure I'm going to change that I've already added mesh today because I realized I left that one out um, but I've basically dragged all of the um, functions from from here really um, and you can see the custom puck data now looks different it's got these things on it um, the outer one I've just put in brackets comment. It doesn't matter what you call that. As long as it says outer on the front, then you will create the outer ring. If you don't put that in, it won't. It'll do it on the inner inner ring there. So I, what I've tried to do here is I've got functions which are specific to curves, of course, specific for creating surfaces and including these things down here. 
and then things that are specific for surface edit and specific for, for mesh. Uh, on the outer ring, the stuff that I use, like the analytics and the symmetry and stuff that applies to curves or surfaces, um, obviously PTC is the surface continuity, but that's something that I use so much that I don't really want to keep on going backwards and forwards to the surface to, to find things like that. But I'm sure in time this will evolve. I'm sort of finding at the minute that I'm just tending to press B and leave that there and then go backwards and forwards. But maybe in time I'll find that the Z, which is what I'm doing now, which just toggles it off on and off as soon as you let go of the Z, it disappears. Um, maybe I'll start to find that's more useful. Like I say, I've not really used this bit where, where we can change the view, but time will tell whether that turns out to be more productive. I have found I'm still using hotkeys because I've got hotkeys set up, which I've had for so long that I don't want to change them. Um, I haven't really used the marking menu in as well. I don't actually use many functions from the marking menu um, in any case. So I might well find that I'll put the marking menu functions in here as well if I start to really like this. But so far I am liking this because if I go and just put that over there, one thing I don't like is that once you put it there, I can't move it. I have to go and press B again and just move it to somewhere else. Um, that's the only slight slight um, criticism there, I suppose. But um, in terms of finding a menu, rather than here, which is obviously my menus as it is, and I've got tabs down here, which I could have more tabs. I know some people have more tabs. Everyone's got different setups, of course. And um, I just find this is quite efficient in terms of they're all in one smaller area than right across here. But, you know, maybe if I'd got this set up differently, then I wouldn't be saying that. But everyone's got their own way of doing this. The thing about Alias, it's got so many options that no two people are going to be using it in the same way. But hopefully that gives you a, a bit of an insight into my experience so far. And um, good luck. I would like to see how you end up using this.